Hey guys, today I'm going to go over possibly the worst Magic the Gathering investment you could ever make, and it is in Magic the Gathering coins. Now, one ounce of silver, these were selling for anywhere between $150 to $200 when they first came out. I know that you could buy them directly for $150 Australian dollars, with the conversion rate of every dollar is, or every Australian dollar is equivalent to 80 cents. So it is around 111, but you do have to pay shipping. And the shipping cost is quite a bit from New Zealand. So what is this? What are we talking about? We're talking about a Magic the Gathering $2 one ounce silver coin. Now, the coin is only really worth the how much silver is worth at this moment. And silver is not worth a, a lot, right? So let's see. Silver ounce worth. But people are still selling it. Oh, so the silver ounce is $48.64, which is not bad. So much better than I expected. The silver amount is worth about half of what you'd be paying if, so the IP, the fact that it has Jace instead of just being a regular silver coin, a bullion coin would make it double the price. Now, is it worth it? Probably not, mainly because there's so many of them on eBay. There's just a flood of them on eBay and it's not limited edition. It is limited edition in the fact that they say it is and there's numbering specific to the coin but it's not limited in this in terms that anyone wants it, right? So you can be like, all right, I only will have a thousand narwhals, but then no one wants narwhals. Is it really limited this in? Maybe, maybe not. So here's another buyer with eight of them for a hundred bucks and free shipping. So you save like 99 cents. I find it quite interesting that they are getting into other areas. Uh, there is a $850 Ajani statue and this is why when I heard of it, I was like, hmm, $850 seems like a lot for a two foot Ajani statue. But is it the worst investment you can make? No. I buy anime figures. My most expensive anime figure is a wedding figure and it costs $500. That's why I paid for it. And that's what I, I, I think I enjoy it. I really do enjoy it. the characters it has a wedding invitation and everything it's like i mean they went all out for it i don't know if i have a picture of it online but it's a it's a beautiful figure it's i think the highlight of my collection and to me it was worth it but i never expected to make money from it right i wasn't like oh good i'm gonna resell it for a bazillion dollars um no i just wanted it and to me at the time it was an okay buy so and also at the time, I didn't have a significant other, so I had no one who told me not to do it, so I did it. I went to the Anime Missouri, and I saw it, and I had seen it before online for $600, $700, and I said, all right, just buy it. And then, unfortunately, I had to, I, I mean, I didn't carry it. I just told the owner to put it aside, and then I would pick it up at the end of the day, and that's what I did. So, huge figure, by the way, and the box was gigantic, right? The box was, like, humongous. So... Magic Gathering coins, uh, terrible investment, <laughs> terrible investment. I mean, if you wanted to invest in silver, I would just invest in silver and pay $50 for a regular coin. I think it's kind of interesting in 2014, these came out. I mean, people were posting, you could have bought them directly for 110 and then with some shipping, I think $25 shipping. So hundred, let's call it 140. And then you could buy online. People are trying to sell it for $200, $250, But uh, they really were not collector's items. They really are not iconic. It's not something a Magic player would really want to buy. I mean, it's nice. But at the same time, does it make sense? It's That's why the Funko figures in the Legacy line, they all failed, right? Like, no one Magic player, the board game failed. Right? Who remembers Planeswalker board game, which is on sale on Amazon all the time? The art book is always on like heavy discount on Amazon. 
this is on heavy discount now, or at least people are not posting. It's 2014. You could have bought anything, and any, you put you could have bought any reserve list card back then, and it would be like 10, 20 times what it was. It would be 10 to 20 times what you paid for it. But instead, you bought a silver coin, hoping that it would go up in price. And I think silver itself went up in price. I know that I collect other cards, and um. I know that Immaculate, or not Immaculate, uh, what is it called? Eminence, Panini Eminence. So if you don't know what that is, check it up. It is like a $2,000 case of, of uh, basketball cards. It's actually more than 2000 I think it's like $4,000 for a case for a few cards. Well, they had the silver, and that's what they were promoting. And I know at that time, it was about $25 an ounce, or $30 an ounce, and it was much cheaper. But I was surprised to see at 48 but hey, you know, press this metal and times of concern is always going to go up. Anyway, that's it. I mean, this is probably the worst purchase. I've, I have I can't imagine anyone making this and expecting to get more money than they paid into it ever, but I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.